My goodness, it's a beautiful day here, but it's chilly. It's about minus 10 and I'm getting the aircraft ready to go out for a flight. So that's why we have the covers. I'm gonna show you what we do to get it all nice and warm. Hi, I'm Rick the Pilot Teacher and today I'm going to be showing you how we get the aircraft ready, all warmed up, ready for the customers. It's now about quarter past 11, they're going to be here about 12, 31 o'clock so they said and this A-Star BA is the uh, oldest one in our fleet but it doesn't have an electric a heating pad system on the gearboxes and the oil and fluid reservoirs so that means it's all cold um, it's been sitting in our cold storage hangar and uh, we need to get it warmed up so I want to get the aircraft cabin warmed up and the engine bay and the transmission bay so in this video I'm going to show you how we do that so for about the last hour or so uh, I bought the machine outside and have installed two of these little electric body heaters and they're all just plugged in here the aircraft's plugged into the hangar what this is doing is it's warming the transmission area here um, this here is the engine oil reservoir we've got the hydraulic fluid reservoir here and we have all the fluid in the transmission itself so uh, this area is just being warmed by the body heater I'm going to close it down and put the cover back on so that uh, it keeps it nice and warm so this is the engine compartment on the back of the uh, AS350 A-Star BA and we've got the second body heater just here at the bottom just pointing towards the uh, main gearbox there of the engine which has got the, uh, the oil sitting in the bottom here so that's just warming or pre-warming the engine just so the engine is nice and kind of warm ready for when I go flying so this will be another area where I stick the Herman Nelson but for now, the little electric buddy heaters are just doing their job. So to help keep everything nice and cosy, we've got the engine and transmission cover and we've got the road ahead cover. And basically these are here just to maintain the heat. And also when it's snowing outside, we put these on to stop the snow falling onto the flight controls of the road ahead. And then if it warms up like a daytime like today, it can melt the water. And then if it gets cold again at night, it can freeze that water in all the linkages and basically jam the controls. So at the moment they're there just to keep the uh, area nice and warm from the buddy heaters. Um, and then soon we're gonna get the, uh, this good old monster, the Herman Nelson heater on here and get it all really nice and warm. So about an hour left to go. So at the moment, the body heaters are just preheating the uh, engine and transmission. In about uh, 30 minutes, I'll stick the Herman Nelson on and let it really, really warm the aircraft. It's already been inspected. It's already fueled. I've got my headset is in there, all ready to go. So now it's just a case of enjoy this beautiful weather. It's nice because it's warming up. If it was minus 20 or minus 30, I wouldn't be standing out here. I'd be letting the Herman do its thing because it's such a nice day. I take advantage of it, sit and have my lunch in the sun. So this is the Herman Nelson heater. And anybody who works in aviation in Northern US, Northern Canada, up in the Arctic, um, Scandinavia, Anywhere it gets cold, they will be familiar with this. And it's basically a big fan, big flame, hot air out the other end. Works really good. Um, but the cool thing about this is we can connect hoses to it and direct that heat into different areas in the aircraft. So this first hose is just gonna go through the window in the cabin. It's gonna keep the cockpit and cabin all nice and warm. Second hose is going to go into the transmission area to heat up all the transmission and the fluid. And the third hose we're going to stick into the engine compartment. And all 
all that's left to do. Turn it on, let it do its thing. Oh, this is warm. So that is how we get the aircraft ready when it's a cold day and it's been sitting in a cold hangar. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments below. We'll get the camera out, get them answered, and uh, I'll see you next time.